journey was so it was too it was too fast for all of us. We were talking about the other day, like, man, the season went by too quick, and we had some bumps in the road, and we overcame those bumps and came together as a whole, and just it was a collective effort. I just had a big chip on my shoulder, not making a metro all tournament te uh, tournament team uh, metro oh, team. Did, was you know, it? It was. I mean, I felt like I just come out and help my team get the win. I just played had that chip on my shoulder. Turning point was those three free throws when Trey got fouled. I think once we saw the refs call that, we were like, all right, now it's time to buckle in and win this game. I mean, I don't know if the call was good or bad. I just know the call was made and we're up three. And if we wouldn't have fouled, we wouldn't have went to overtime. Yeah, I'm born and raised in Tacoma. So this has been a all over Hilltop, University Place, everywhere. I lived everywhere in Tacoma. So, it was just a, to be a kid growing up watching everyone play, to come home and win a state championship my first year is a blessing. Born and raised in Tacoma, Washington, uh, eighth grade, uh, moved away to California, went to a prep school. What prep school you went to? Prolific prep. Okay, that was your uh, freshman year. Freshman year, played with Josh Jackson, who's in the uh, NBA. And then my sophomore year, I played at Prolific prep again. And then this year, I moved back home. It's a great feeling. I mean, coming from freshman year all the way to now, not even ever giving. Like, we got the chance, but I never got a ring. I mean, this is like the best feeling. Uh, loss after loss in the state championship. I mean, you could never ask for a better feeling than this. What was the turning point today? I know it's uh, probably a little blur. But... Right, right. I think the turning point was we started playing get, like better together. We started playing better defense. We started actually making shots in the first. I think first and second quarter, we weren't making that many shots. I mean, we're only up by three at halftime. We came out the second half. Uh, they came back in the fourth quarter. The very end, Trey got a three off. And they, I mean, I didn't think it was a three, in my opinion, but they called it. I mean, it was, it was knocked pretty it down. Late, but... Yeah, it was pretty late. So he knocked it down. I mean, and we're all ready, ready for OT, ready for war. Well, it's such an interesting dichotomy for you to go against Brandon Roy right. last year in the championship. Right. Right. And this year he's your coach. How was that in the beginning for you, knowing that this guy went against and now your coach and to where you are now? What's your relationship like with him? I mean, no, I've known him since freshman year. He's always yeah. been like a mentor to me. All of our coaches, I've known them all for four years. They've always been mentors to me. I mean, obviously I knew he had what it takes. He went undefeated last year. We only got one L this year, but I mean, we knew, we knew what it takes. We put in the hard work to get this, and I think we deserved it.